Welp, you read the title. If you're anything like me, then you're probably hoping that this is some BS clickbait and not fact. Well, I'm sorry to say that it is fact. Gage the Necromancer is not going to be in Borderlands 3. If you want proof, here's Paul Sage, the creative director for Borderlands 3, saying the character won't be in Borderlands 3. What about Gage? What about Gage? Uh, so, a good question there. Um, Gage was somebody we talked about uh, putting in, um, and I, I don't want to spoil anything, but I think I can safely say that Gage isn't in the game, and it's not because we don't love Gage, but, but the, the point of this is that there are NPCs that we have to spend time with. If you don't spend enough time with an NPC, then, then it's not worth adding them in there, right? You're, you're not doing them any favors, not doing anybody any favors. So we have to be really careful, but, you know, hopefully this game does well, and then that means there will be more, and then, you know, you'll see more, even more NPCs around. We have a huge pantheon of NPCs we want to get back to. You know, there's DLC, there's all that stuff. So, you know, my hope is that we can get uh, everybody's favorite NPC in at some points within the uh, Borderlands 3 uh, timeline here. Now, if you're a big fan of the character like I am, you're probably devastated, or at least you were for a bit, until you heard that if the game does well, then there will be DLC, and NPCs like her could be in those DLCs. Now, let's face it, we all know this game is going to do really, really well. We have been given no reason to think otherwise. The game looks fantastic, the people who've played it say it feels fantastic, and Gearbox has of course been working on the game for quite a while. A lot of time and effort has gone into it. So I think it's pretty safe to say that we will see Gage in one of the DLCs. Now you may still find it disappointing that the character is not going to be in the main game. It still disappoints me too. We all saw the Iridian Lady at the end of the pre-sequel, and heard how she said that war was coming and we would need all the Vault Hunters we could get. And hey, we're not gonna have all the Vault Hunters in the war after all. The Calypsos are the big bads of the game, and the big bads are always the final bosses. So when we ultimately beat them at the end of the game, the war is going to most likely be over. So it's not like the war will continue into a DLC or something. I mean, it could, but probably not. So, whatever DLC Gage ends up being in will be something else separate from this war, that we apparently needed all the Vault Hunters for. So a lot of us thought the character would be in the main game, especially when we saw that her Death Trap design, that Marcy stole and sold according to Gage's echo-logs on YouTube, are being used against us. A lot of us really thought that would be when she comes into the story and teams up with us. It was a theory of course, but a theory that made perfect sense. But hey, maybe that idea is still out there. After the main game, when the war is over, maybe we do team up with her to take out all of the bootleg death traps and steal her designs back. That could be really cool and really fitting. I think Maliwan is the one with the bootleg death traps, so hitting them hard in a DLC sounds pretty cool. It is of course disappointing that Gage won't be in the main game, but it's probably ultimately better that they don't forcibly squeeze her into the main game, and instead save her for a more prominent and meaningful role in a DLC, as long as it is exactly that, a prominent and meaningful role. Everyone has their favorite Vault Hunter that they absolutely love, and it's important that everyone's favorite Vault Hunter is done justice. Now, this leads me to something else. If Gage isn't going to be in the main story of Borderlands 3, then what other Vault Hunters aren't? Because I'm willing to bet it's not only her getting left out. So far, out of all the Vault Hunters from the three games, that are still alive that is, we haven't seen Gage of course, Salvador, Axton, Athena, Jack Doppelganger, and Krieg. So it's possible that any of those other five aren't in the main game as well. Again, as long as everyone's Vault Hunter is done justice in a DLC, it's fine if they aren't in the main game, but imagine if all of them aren't in the main game. That would be kind of nuts, wouldn't it? To have basically half of the Vault Hunters from the three games not be part of, or visibly part of, the war the Iridian Lady said they were all needed for. Now I say visibly part of because they could be mentioned in the story by other characters. Maybe some character says they're out on another planet or something. With the doppelganger, it probably would be a little different, I wouldn't really expect him to be running with them, despite being a Vault Hunter. 
I'd like to guess that Lilith wouldn't be too happy seeing Jack's face around, whether he's the real thing or not. Also, keep in mind guys, the body double in the pre-sequel is different than the one we killed in Borderlands 2. The one in the pre-sequel had surgery, while the one in Borderlands 2 had a hologram. But yeah, they're definitely all out there somewhere, doing whatever. But we know in Gage's case, and possibly others, they're not anywhere we're going to be able to see them. Now, what about the possibility of this being a big scam? Maybe Paul said Gage wasn't going to be in the game to make us believe that. Then when we play the game and the character appears in the story, we're all super surprised and blown away. This was something I wanted to believe, I really did, but it's unlikely. As you saw, Paul picked out that question himself. He could have looked over it and ignored it, and the surprise would still be there. It's not like he had the question sprung on him in an interview and he had to answer, because saying no comment or something would probably have been a dead giveaway that the character was in the story. No, he decided to answer that question himself when he didn't have to, so in turn he's likely telling the truth. Either way, again, as long as these characters get prominent roles in DLCs, people will be happy. They will have to wait a little longer to be happy, but that happiness will come to them. As long as Gearbox aren't completely leaving any of these important characters out of the game in its entirety, then everything is okay. Anyway, I just wanted to share that bit of info with you guys and discuss it. Let me know how you guys feel about Gage not being in the main story, and let me know how you feel about other Vault Hunters possibly not being in the main story as well. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And that's pretty much it guys, I want to thank you all for watching, I very much appreciate it, and I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.